Okay, what we're going to be doing is creating an application to do multiple functions such as open QuickTime and go ahead and start recording the audio with a keyboard shortcut. So the first thing we got to do is open up Automator. It's a little robot thing down here. And um, basically there's a few ways to reach it. Go in here to Applications, Automator. And what you want to do is select Service. Now there's a document I created in Pages that goes over this in more detail. Watch this YouTube video on how this guy created one. It, it's, it's really pretty good. That's how I learned how to do this. So um, what you want to do is select the service so that it can run in anything in OS X. Application, it's a standalone application. Um, basically, you know, you can put that on the desktop and this is really dependent upon an application. So like within pages, you could probably do this. But if you want to do something else that's standalone, use this. But this is like an overall umbrella. So we're going to use this. Choose that. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to open up QuickTime because we want to open QuickTime, open the audio player, and then have um, how to brain fart. Um, and then we want it to start recording automatically. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up the application. So type in application. Okay, launch application. Drag this guy over here. Got it. Now go ahead and clear that out so you can continue to see results as you search in. And it says, okay, great. You want to launch an application. What do you want to launch? Open this up and then you go down to uh, QuickTime. Bam. Okay, now it's launched QuickTime. Now what do you want it to do? Result. I don't know what this stuff is. Um, next thing we want to do is go over here to QuickTime. The next thing, now that it's launched, we want it to uh, do an audio recording. Bam. So it launched it. Now it's going to open the audio recording. And then we want it to uh, start a capture immediately. Okay, sound good? Um, service receives selected service receives selected text. We just, I don't, I don't really understand why the guy did this, but just put it on no input. And then it'll run in any application. Got it. And uh, then we hit um, Command S to save. Okay. Well, I'm going to label this as um, audio and SR. And we're going to hit save. I already have one named like this. I just did this uh, before I made the video. So anyway, so it's saved. Close this out close this out. Next thing we're going to do is go to keyboard. Go to system preferences. You can click on it here and go to keyboard. You can click on it here and get there. Or you can go up here to keyboard. Type in keyboard. Keyboard. Come on. There we go. Keyboard. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is click on shortcuts. Okay. Keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts. Get on here to app shortcuts. Now I already have it created here, but we're going to create it again. So we're going to take it off. Um, so select this. Click on all applications. And we're going to add it right here. So click add. And you have to type it in exactly as you saved it in the automator when you're saving it. So we saved it as A-U-D-I-O-S-R. The new keyboard shortcut I've selected randomly. Something that's just easy I can do with one hand. Command tilde. Add it. Okay, and that'll do it, folks. So let's go ahead and run it. I've just created a keyboard shortcut for the application I just created in Automator. Command 